I'm not saying this is Hufflepuff, but I mean, if you identify as a Hufflepuff like I do, I'm not gonna say anything. Katie B had requested a badger pattern, so that's exactly what we're gonna do today. Anywho, let's get started. Don't forget to take a screenshot of the grid pattern. On a six inch wooden dowel, we're gonna attach all 11 cords using a lark's head knot. To tie a lark's head knot, you wanna fold your cord in half, and then with a the loop end, you wanna place that behind your wooden dowel, and then with the long tail ends, you wanna thread that through the loop. Don't forget, this is a pattern request, so if you have a pattern request, please leave it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Okay, so taking a look at our pattern, we want to start at the top left and work our way all the way to the top right. Each square represents a vertical double half hitch knot in that color. So to tie a vertical double half hitch knot, you want to place your yarn underneath the first strand of white cord. With your short tail end on the left and your long on the right, you want to make a loop on your right hand side, wrap your tail in around and through the loop. And that is half of your vertical double half hitch knot, which essentially is just looping it around your white filler cord. So to make this a knot, what you want to do is repeat the same thing. So make a loop on your right, wrap your tail end around and through the loop. Once it's through, cinch up your knot and then slide it all the way up to the top. Okay, so to make your second knot, you want to place your yarn behind the next strand of white filler cord and then make a loop on your right, wrap your tail in around and through the loop and repeat one more time. Now, like I mentioned earlier, this is not a Hufflepuff logo, so you can do the background any color you like. However, I identify with a Hufflepuff, so I did mine yellow. <laughs> Anyways, carrying on, with your second row, you want to go back in the opposite direction. So this time your yarn is gonna be on the left-hand side as well as your loop. So it's the exact same thing we did for the first row, only in reverse. And it is a little bit tricky to get the hang of going in the opposite direction, but by the end of this project, you'll be pro. Jumping ahead, as you can see, we need to switch to a different color. So grab a strand of black yarn and we're gonna attach it just like we did at the very start of this project. Also, as you're working along tying your knots, you are bound to run out of the length of your yarn. This is the exact same way we're going to add a new piece if you happen to run out of length. And yes, that will make the back of your work look a little messy. I'll show you how to fix that later on in this video. Okay, now we need to switch back to the golden yellow. So to do this, lie your black cord flat, and then what you want to do is pick up all your white filler cords. Then grab the same yellow strand of yarn you were working with before, and we're gonna run it behind our work. And make sure that it's on top of your previous black cords. So bring down your white filler cords, and then all you have to do is continue on tying your vertical double half hitch knots. I'll leave a link in the description box of the yarn and the rope that I'm using for this project. However, if you wanna choose your own supplies, what you want to do is make sure that your yarn is half the diameter of your white filler cords. The trick to these types of patterns is that you want your vertical double half hitch knots to be a perfect square. Otherwise, it will distort the image of your pattern. Because we wrap our yarn around twice, that's why we need it half the diameter of our filler cord. That way it ends up being a perfect square every time. Flipping our wall hanging over to the back side, we're gonna clean up the mess by tying double overhand knots. So what you wanna do is grab any two strands of yarn that are close together and tie your double overhand knot and then snip off the excess yarn. While we have our scissors out, let's trim up the fringe at the bottom and then we're gonna add a little bit of spice. And what I mean by spice is eyeballs. <laughs> These are called black safety eyes, and you usually see them in crochet projects. To use them, all you have to do is pop them in place, and then with these little disc backings, all you have to do is just push it on. However, for macrame projects, you really want to make sure that it's catching some of the yarn. That way it doesn't push all the way through your work. And I really think it adds a really cool detail to this wall hanging. What do you think? Hairs. Ah. There. Pretty? No? Yes? Crazy? I don't know. I'm not really wearing any makeup, so 
That's new. Hi, and welcome back to another Your Request series. PDB had identified. Ooh, what? She didn't say that. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a nerd. <laughs> yeah, this is probably a side of me you didn't know. Yeah, you didn't know. I'm weird. Hopper sings the rest of the song. Double, double, toil and trouble. 